defensive lineman down the field, that's always a good sign for the guys in blue when you got somebody that size as a pass receiver. Clyde Simmons injured his right foot, and they'll determine whether he can get back in this game. Meanwhile, the Giants with a first down on their 36. Remember, they started from the 17. Rodney Hampton driving forward. And his knee touched after a seven-yard gain. Wes Hopkins and Mike Pitts in on the tackle. Great acceleration by Hampton. The guy that has to pick up the slack is right here, Reggie White at the nose. He goes this way, and Hampton goes this way. Watch how this develops. White goes one way. They're getting the hooks and the block downs all along that line of scrimmage. And this is just attitude time for the New York Giants offense. They have to establish the fact that they've got a little bit meaner and a little bit more of an attack attitude than the Philadelphia defense. Second down and three. The quarterback's delight with 4.35 to go. Hostetler on the he goes. So even without Clyde Simmons, Reggie White, you can single him, double him. He'll get in there anyway and picks up the sack and a loss of seven yards. Well, they call him a lot of things, Minister of Defense. If I played against him, I'd call him Mr. White because he just schools Riesenberg here and goes after Hostetler. That wasn't even close. Reggie White came in the game with just five and a half sacks, well below what he normally gets. He says, I'm so desperate for a title. I don't care how many sacks I get. You don't normally hear that from a lineman. Well, that's the kind of leader. It speaks to the kind of guy Reggie is. He makes the point. You know, I'm not a talker on the field. Jerome Brown was a talker on the field. Pepper Johnson from the Giants, he's a talker on the field. I want guys to get inspiration from the way I play, not from what I say. First down on the 36. Third down and 10. And a deep pass for Stephen Becker. He's got it. He beat Eric Allen. And a huge gain of 45. Watch Stephen Baker right here, head down the field, but more importantly, watch him towards the end of the play. For those of you that are, want to be wide receivers, you kids out there, you hear the term adjusting to the ball? Look at him, looking inside, suddenly flips that head around, going the other way. You don't realize how hard that is. Look at that. Adjusting back the other way. That's no slouch, Eric Allen covering him. He's been to two Pro Bowls. Great job by Stephen Baker. The Eagles have determined to single cover the giant outside receivers, and they got burned there. Uh, first pass on first down to Callaway, and the pass is low, incomplete, and that'll bring up second down. But that's the kind of pass we talked about, Dick. That's a quick three-stepper. Get back there and fire that thing on timing. Hostetler fired that thing a little bit low, but that's another kind of a pass that you have to establish against this defense to try to keep Reggie White out of your face. And that was on the third down play. Giants began from their 17-yard line, and now they're on the Eagles' 19. There's the time remaining in the first quarter. Three to nothing, the Giants lead. Jared Bunch off the left side. And he bowls his way to the 15-yard line before Byron Evans makes the play in a gain of five yards. And Clyde Simmons, we understand, is going to be coming back into the game, and he has returned to the game for the Eagles at defensive end. I'd say at this game, if you don't have a body part dangling off by a thread, you get your tail back in there, you tell them to tape it up. Worry about it in February, because this game, I think, is going to decide which direction these two teams take for the rest of this season. You've got to go and do whatever you can. Bud Carson's doing whatever he can. He's got nine guys coming after him, and that's his best hand right there, and that's Reggie White. Giants are one game behind Philly and Washington, who are wild card teams right now. Third down and five. Hostetler runs into trouble. Trying to look for an opening, and he finds a wide open make it for a touchdown. Living, Dave, Jeff Hostetler with an exhibition of it there. A 14-yard TD strike to Dave Meggett, his second touchdown catch of the year. That's the kind of play the old-style drop-back quarterback just cannot make. Hostetler creates this. Reggie White looks like he's got him hooked. Suddenly, Riesenberg and Oates block that entire side off, and Joyner was taking a guess on a sack. 
That bar kicks the extra point. So when Pepper Johnson talked about street yard football, we saw an example of that there as the Giants lead 10 to nothing. That Dave Meggett, one of the giant aces on offense, only his second touchdown of the year, both as a receiver. And the Giants lead 10 to nothing, and there is the scoring drive, a good one, 83 yards. Coach Hyatt was prophetic. He said last night, I got to stop Hostetler, and we got to stop Meggett. Couldn't stop either one of them on that last play. Willis will kick off for the Giants. Sikahema inside, and Sikahema returning from the 15 yard line. Gets to get by Sikahema. Still going, and a great return on the kickoff. Giant coverage teams have been less than mediocre, and a 41 yard return by Sikahema into Giant territory with Sparks making the tackle. Well, I think this guy's been doing these returns since I was about in my third year. <laughs> Sikahema has been here forever, and this is what it specialty is, and that's giving his team a little bit of a spark. There are a lot of guys in the NFL that are faster than Sikahema the way he goes out the field, but nobody picks the holes like a runner does in the as a running back. Sikahema can do that great on returns. Longest kickoff return of the year for the Eagles. 41 yards, first down on the Giant 46. Cunningham has the pass. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Steve Diossi penetrated and got a hand on it. Take a look at that last touchdown real quick. Watch Joyner up here. You talk about freelancing. You talk about guessing. He's got Meggett, man on man, you know. Watch him go outside. I got him. I got him. Now here comes the guess. He's thinking run. Costello's not running. He lets Meggett get behind him. And the crowd taunting Cunningham by cheering Randall, Randall. Second down and 10. Cunningham is buried back on his own 45-yard line. Leonard Marshall and Carl Banks and a loss of eight yards. Well, this will go to an individual, but watch a team wave move this way. This should be a team sack because the entire front of the Giants' defense just collapses in on Randall Cunningham. We talked about confidence. We talked about Cunningham having to get after people and having to get a good start. This hasn't been a good start, and he's not doing against a team that's been known this year for getting a lot of sacks. Heck, five of those 13 are by Lawrence Taylor. The rest of them only have eight. Next to last in the lead. Even inside on a gray day, sunglasses for Jimmy Mack. Third down and 18. Cunningham fires, and a wide open man is Fred Barnett. This is a street yard kind of game, like touch football in this street yard, and Barnett was wide open in a 29-yard catch to the 25 with Greg Jackson bringing him down. Well, Pepper Johnson said to Leslie Visser on NFL Today, he said, hey, look, I get the defense called by Rod Russ, but Randall Cunningham does stuff like this. You can't stay in the defense. You've got to try to make something happen. Well, when defenders try to make things happen, you get big plays. But here's a little something. A little something's happened in there. Hamilton slamming Cunningham down. Eagles trailing 10 to nothing, and they have a first down on the Giants 25 with 45 seconds to go, and there's a play fake. And the pass, they get it off to Herschel Walker. Greg Jackson was there immediately and held Herschel to only a four-yard gain. Well, there wasn't much buy, Dick, on, this, on the behalf of that Giants defense. They tried to sell that quick play action, almost like a screen look to the other side. And as soon as Randall turned around, Eric Howard was right in his chops. Cunningham did a nice job of getting rid of that ball. Sometimes that play can develop too quickly. There's nothing wrong with get, you know, getting a three, four yard gain on a play like this. You give them that play action, you give them the read, you give the coaches on the defensive side across the field just a little something extra to think about. Well, the Eagles have a lot to think about here. They're in a deficit. And that is the end of the first quarter here at Giants Stadium with the score. The New York Giants 10 and the Philadelphia Eagles nothing. The second quarter here at Giants Stadium. The Giants lead 10 to nothing, but the Eagles threaten second down and six on the Giants 21.